We don't need white people leading the Democratic Party right now. The Democratic Party is diverse, and it should be reflected as so in our leadership and throughout the, the staff at the, top, at the highest levels, from the vice chairs to the secretaries, all the way down to the people working in the offices at the DNC. So we don't need white people leading the Democratic Party. She has not, as far as I know, no reprimanding from CNN. She still works there. She's been on again since that. She doubled down on it, refused to take it back. So why is it acceptable for her to say a racist thing like that? And, you know, for you, it's not acceptable to give your opinion. Well, why should she be reprimanded? They all agree with her. Um, you know, she's just able to say what they're all thinking, which is that white people are the root of all evil. Now, to be very clear, I'm not like the mirror image of her on the no, right. No, no, not at all, not at all. I, you know, I would much rather there were, was identity politics for nobody. I quite liked that dude once upon a time, I think, had something to do with civil rights, who said, let's judge people by the contents of their character, not the color of their skin. I thought he was pretty cool. Um, you know, but progressives have forgotten about that dude. Uh, you know, I'd quite like to go back to that. Um, but if you are going to set people up against each other, then some people are going to want identity politics for their own groups, and you're not going to like the results. And you have to be fair. If you want identity politics for blacks and women, you have to have it for whites and men, and you might not like the results of that. The good news is America made a decision in this election. America made a decision actually to, 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 to sort of put a stake in the ground and say, you know, this is not good enough. We don't like this. We're tired of being called racist, sexist, homophobic, all the rest of it, when the left is so much worse. You know, these are the worst imaginable people lecturing the rest of us about how we should live. It's insane. Um, this is enough. No more. And they, now the, the space and culture has opened up. Now people are going to be able to say more, do more, express themselves more widely, and opportunities, opportunities are going to arise for libertarians and conservatives and people who don't care about politics and just want to be funny. Right. Um, and also a space has opened up, I think, to, to really expose hypocrisy. And, you know, the, the clip that you just played me um, is a perfect example of when identity politics just goes nuts.